Joe Gillespie has spent 40 years in the engine industry, and his son Jesse has grown up surrounded by it as well. Together, they run ProTech Diesel in Glendive, Montana, a now 12,000 square foot diesel shop. One thing Joe never did was stifle Jesse's creativity and drive to try his hand at diesel work. This has had a huge impact on Jesse's current ability to build durable performance diesel engines and got him into sled pulling. To stay competitive on the pulling circuit, Jesse built a 3.6 smoothbore charger 6.2 liter Cummins as well as a truck chassis from scratch. And we're gonna give you the details in this episode of Diesel of the Week. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today we're talking about Protec Diesel's 3.6 smoothbore charger, 6.2 liter Cummins build. The engine features a 5.9 liter block with a 6.7 liter crank, but it was a long road to get to where the build is today. We'll say 100% of that's my son's. Uh, doing, he's built from the chassis up, had a bare chassis and has built it from, yeah, from the ground up all the way to the engine, the suspension, the, um, the design, the welding, the electrical, the data log and everything else or whatever is um, all been him. That's definitely the biggest showpiece probably that we got. Jesse's entry into sled pulling started in 2008 competing locally with a 2.6 truck. It was just a hobby at first, but without enough 2.6 trucks to compete against, Jesse quickly decided to bump up to a 3.0 turbocharger and make a little more power. Of course, more power meant breaking more parts, and once Jesse finally got fed up, he decided he was going to build a new sled pulling truck from the ground up. I pulled it out of the field that the truck had been in a creek for like the, the rancher or farmer, whoever owned it, had got it stuck in a creek and the water came up overnight, flooded the truck. So, I mean, this thing was trashed. But, you know, I was like, oh, it's just a body, you know, like it's never gonna be perfect, it's just a full truck. So I get it to the shop and it's like, I pick up the frame to go to clean it up and or I took all the body and all that stuff off of it to go get it ready and we spent three hours with a hose in each frame rail pouring mud out of it. Like, it was bad. Despite the rough shape it had been in, Jesse got the chassis and the body looking really good. Next up was the engine. The build started with a 5.9 liter block with a regular P-pump. The block is sleeved and has a 6.7 liter Cummins crank in it. Protec also used waggler rods, diamond pistons, and made sure to give the head a really nice port job. It also features a Hartz turbo, a Hartz injection pump, dynamite injectors, a precision PT 4000 water to air cooler, ARP fasteners, Mala H series bearings, a shied front cover, a one piece billet valve cover, and a five inch side draft intake from Joker Fab. The best thing I ever did was took that thing down to Perkins and put it on the engine dyno. I think we picked up like 400 horse there, but I knew exactly where to run it down the track, you know, because the track condition can vary on your, t your air pressure, front and rear, you know, um, your gear selection, like I was talking about that drop box. Um, you know, we changed our final drive all over the place depending on the track. Knowing where to put the power and when to apply the power is the biggest thing, you know. And is it a really loose track? Well, you know, a lot of people say then, then you don't go full throttle. I, I'm the opposite, you know, if say I know my, my engine makes peak horsepower at just like a given number, say 5,000 RPM, rather than trying to back down to like 46, 45, 43, you know, because that's where your torque curve is. So you wanna get past your torque curve so that you're not really grunting on that engine. So what I'll do is I'll pull that thing up to say 55, 5600 RPM because I know I'm back out of the horsepower, but I'm wound up enough that you're not going to pull me down either. I will say that, that whatever they charge for an engine dyno session is worth its weight in gold. On the engine dyno, I was right, I think it was like 1680, 1690, I could pull out the dyno sheets. 
Helping to make that horsepower is AMSOIL, which ProTech Diesel has used for a while now. We were sponsored by a local AMSOIL dealer. So I've been running the AMSOIL 2050 um, competition diesel oil. I have absolutely no complaints about that stuff. With the current 3.6 smoothbore charger 6.2 liter Cummins setup, Jesse and ProTech Diesel have seen some great success. And we have no doubt it will continue. Well, that does it for this episode of Diesel of the Week. A special thanks to our sponsor, Amsoil. And remember, if you have an engine you'd like to see featured, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.